to teach you today how to set up your petri dishes for the air particulates lab. After you have decided uh, the question and hypothesis in your experimental design, it's time to go ahead and make your petri dishes. So you want to use enough petri dishes to get good data. And so six to eight petri dishes are a good idea just to make sure that you have enough data to draw some conclusions um, and to really test if your hypothesis was correct or not. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some petroleum jelly and you're going to take a very small amount on your finger and you're going to, with a thin, thin coat, you're going to rub the bottom of each petri dish. And it needs to be a thin coat. You don't want it thick and globby. It will be harder to count your particulates that way. And so a thin coat is plenty so that when particulates fall from the air onto your dish, they will stick and you'll get some good data. Go ahead and close the dish and you're gonna tape it closed. So just use some regular scotch tape. You wanna close it so that, or tape it so that it doesn't fall open in your backpack and gather lint or anything like that. If that does happen when you take it home or to work, you can just, again, um, clean the dish out really well and then replace it with some petroleum jelly. If you don't have petroleum jelly, you could even replace it with lip gloss or, or chapstick or any sort of sticky substance that um, you would put on with a thin layer. And then you're gonna label it. So let's say this one's gonna go to Joe's backyard. You're gonna label it Joe's backyard. And then you're gonna do the same with all of your dishes. You're gonna smear them with petroleum jelly and you're going to put the labels on and you're going to tape them closed. Once your group has exposed all of your dishes and you've brought them back to lab to count your data, I'm going to show you uh, one method that you can count your data. So one thing that you need to be aware of is you need to be consistent on your data. And one way to do this is to take a piece of graph paper and cut it into quarters. And you really only need one of the quarters. And you can use uh, a petri dish that is a blank one to make a template. And so uh, just go ahead and trace a circle. And instead of counting everything that has landed on your petri dishes and on the Vaseline that has stuck, it's a good idea to do a sampling of data because for some locations you're going to have a lot of particulates and it's going to be absolutely impossible to measure everything that fell on the uh, dish. So you as a group can decide uh, which boxes that you're going to measure in every single dish. So you can pick some random boxes now, if you look at your dishes and you happen to have a lot of particulates, I suggest just sampling a few uh, of the boxes. But if you look at your dishes and you see that there's not a whole lot of particulates, 
then maybe your group will want to um, choose larger samplings. So you could draw some of these larger squares. But whatever you do, it has to be the same template for all of your dishes. So you cannot use this one on one dish and this one on another. That is not a constant. Your constant is that you have to choose um, and make one template and choose only that template and use it for all your dishes. So you only need one template and then when you get home, you can, um, I'm sorry, when you get back to lab, you're gonna unpeel the tape. Um, you can use some scissors if you need to, to get the tape off. And now you're going to count your particulates. And so you're gonna place your dish on your template and then also on a stereoscope. So the stereoscope has light that shines down from the bottom or shines up from the bottom and also down from the top. And so take your template and you're gonna place it on the stereoscope and then your Petri dish as well on the stereoscope. And there's settings on the stereoscope for different light intensities. So play around with whatever light intensity you want. And then once you have decided um, your light intensity and make sure it's the same for all of the dishes then you're gonna look through the um, eyepieces and you're gonna count the number of particulates in the squares on your template and you can take the numbers of particulates your group could decide if it wants to measure the size of the particulates and you guys can decide what small medium and large means you also need to take a note of some qualitative data like the color perhaps. You have a lot of fibers um, that are pink or blue and that could be from fabric. Um, some of you may have a lot of dog hairs or cat hairs and that is something that you would see in your, um, in your dish. So again you need numbers and you also need descriptions. You need quantitative numbers and qualitative and that is how you count. And now again, make sure it's the same template for all of your dishes. When you're done getting all of your data, you need to clean the dishes. So you wanna peel the painter's tape off of all of the trays so they can be reused again, Petri dishes, uh, well, they're plastic, so we want to keep them out of the landfill. And also, they can be reused again and save some money on Petri dishes for the following year. So you're going to have petroleum jelly in the bottom of your dish. First thing you do is just take a paper towel and go ahead and wipe most of it out. And once you've wiped most of it out, it's a little bit easier to clean after that. So you're gonna take some soap and just go ahead and squirt a squirt inside your dish. And just, you can take it and kind of swirl it around with the paper towel. It will start to break down the oil. And then you can wash it in hot water at this point and it should be fairly clean. Now again, make sure that you rinse this with hot water. Hot water will get rid of the oils better and then you need to dry it really well. I don't want spots. So since they're used again, the spots left on them will make it harder for next year's students to see the um, particulates or information from other labs. So make sure you dry it completely. And then once it's rinsed and dried and you've done it to all of your dishes, then you can return them to your teacher.